specialised in 4 before expedition vehicles, mainly Mercedes Sprinter. So we've designed on the Mercedes-Benz 4.1 twin turbo formatic chassis. But we call it a baby overlander. We're capable of going overland or off-road. What's special about the new one is we have no gas. We've fit something called an inverter, and it's actually an inverter charger. It's from Victron, it's called a Quattro, and that has the ability to give us seven kilowatts of power off grid. There's actually two alternators, so we have the factory fit 12 volt alternator, but what really is the turning point is the 240 volt belt driven alternator that's actually attached to the engine. And that gives us the capability of supercharging our 24 volt battery system that powers the entire van. The battery system has 9.6 kilowatts of power, so it really does mean you can cook on the induction hob. That's a three kilowatt total power output. We have the air fryer, that's a three kilowatt output, and there's a microwave. The generator that's attached to the engine makes all this possible, and this is where it changes the plan of being off-grid. The boot space of Rebellion 2 is fully equipped in this particular one. You can see the 24 volt Quattro system. We have a fully automatic washing machine. We do have a lot of customers that actually live out of the vans full time. So it really does help not to need to go to the laundrette. And we do have a water filter. That water filter does filter down to 0.1 micron. So it means that if you're gonna fill up abroad and you're not sure about the water, it'll certainly protect you from getting a tummy bug. We designed the garage to be able to carry particularly electric mountain bikes. The height of the garage is perfectly measured at 920 millimeters. So a full-size mountain bike with its front wheel taken off fits in perfectly into the garage. We fit extra security locks on here, so the garage is very, very well protected. The kitchen is fitted with an upgraded tap, a little bit more luxury. We have a kitchen sink that is a normal household kitchen sink, so it really does help with washing. We also have some great little quirky designs. We have a little pop top here, and one of my designers came up with this little thing and that actually sorts on here and you think what on earth's that for that actually fits for when you're washing up great little sink drainer but it don't quite finish there because we actually have a dishwasher in this motor home let's show you it even though we're off grid in this fantastic rebellion 2 you probably won't believe this but um, i hate washing up so there you go we actually have installed a uh, dishwasher we spend a lot of time on R&D, mainly in the bathroom, believe it or not. One of the things filtering through from America at the moment are composting toilets. Now, this particular van has got the very latest composting toilet. Now, what we've done is we've actually bought what we think is one of the better composting toilets on the market, and my design team has printed new parts to be able to make it removable so that we have a much, much bigger shower tray. The shower tray is now a metre by 750, the same size as what you'd have at home and we've worked really hard to make a pull-down sink and the sink's made from debunk Corians. One of the amazing features of this vehicle is its elevated lounge. The thing that makes it really special is our new opening window at the back. That really does make you feel like you're outside, even though you're protected from all the weather inside. The way that we turn the generator on to give us the five kilowatts of power is up here on this little button up here. And by keeping your finger on the button, that starts up the generator whilst the engine's running. Some of the very clever things that we've done is we carry 200 litres of water. The van is equipped with air suspension on the back to carry the extra weight. This particular van is designed for two people to go away into a luxury off-grid. We have fit the very latest Apple iMac. We also have a Bluetooth amplifier. It's much easier to drive and it's much quieter to drive the vehicle as well and it really does feel very car-like to drive. So we don't build vans to go on campsites. All our vans are built to be totally off-grid and capable of going anywhere in the world.